Hello there guys and welcome to another video from the Toy Boy. So today we have a box opening of it's a basically a job lot of Action Man bits and pieces. It does include one Action Man figure in a I think in reasonable shape. And lots of other goodies. Um this was a buy it now. Uh, 40 pounds buy it now. Uh with uh, four pounds was it forty Four pounds forty-five postage is normally the going rate, something like that. So, uh, fairly cheap lot. Um, I think I've probably got double. You know, it's probably worth double than what I've paid. So, um, yeah, really excited to get into this and uh, see what we've got. So, uh, oh, always a nightmare. I should have done this before. So first off, take a look at the action man. Seems to be in reasonably good shape. Bit of a bald spot there on his head. Eyes are a bit stiff. Sometimes that can be because they're on his earlier bodies. So yeah, so if you haven't seen, he's wearing a Royal Marines uh, Exploration Team, well, part outfit. There's a lot more, well, there's, hopefully there's most of the uh, the set in here. It's what I was mainly after, apart from all the other bits that are going to give me my money back. Essentially getting this uniform and figure for free, I should imagine, once I've sold everything that I don't want. Uh, yeah, so a good start. So straight off, we can see clearly we have Canadian Mountie pieces here, tunic and the trousers. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just move this over and I'll lay this all out. I think so. We've got the, the extra man over there. Because I know what bits are in here, or mostly anyway. Right, so we have a we have one of the 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 tent, Action Man tent, and I can already see lots of other bits for that in here. So we'll stick that bit just a bit out of the way. So we have like one of the like the deck chair things, the seats. We have a table. <laughs> I can't believe this. Oh. Oh. I just flew across the room. So we have a table. Quite funny these tables, how they clip together. But yep, we have the table. I'm doing that off camera. Uh, yeah, we have got more bits for the tent. Some of the poles. All right, so we'll get this out of the way. Make it a bit easier for me to get into that box. So this is obviously the it says on it a life raft. Obviously, I don't know if it's uh, um, got any holes in it or not, but uh, I suppose they're easily repairable if there is. Not that I'm going to probably use it, but. So that goes, yeah, so that goes with the uh, Royal Marine Exploration Team set. So that can go over there. We'll plonk him in that now. Right. Let's get some more of this plastic that's in here. So we have a tank commander's coat there, jacket. Uh, so here is the helmet for the Royal Marine Exploration Team set. Stick that on his head. Hasn't unfortunately got the uh, 
strap by the look of it. Well, obviously it's not attached, so it's probably not in the box either. It's probably missing, I should imagine. <clears throat> More bits to the tent. So that looks uh, fairly complete. Well, the actual mounts for the tent, there's no uh, base here, but otherwise it's uh, not too bad. Um, this also goes with the Royal Marine set. Uh, oh, we have a, a Lee Enfield here. These are quite sought after, unfortunately. Missing tip of the barrel. Still worth a few quid though. So uh, here's another part of another set that I remember being in there. So that's obviously part of the Crash Crew set. I've just found this, which is probably the insert that goes into the helmet that, <coughs> on the uh, Royal Marine Exploration Team set. And lots of rubbish in here, but I know. Uh, so there, here we have the belt that goes with the Canadian Mountie. Is that the, the Sam Brown belt? Is that the one that goes with the Canadian Mountie? Is that what it's called? I think it is, I'm not sure. And we have his hat as well. Also with the uh, the clasp and the, I don't know what you call it, that goes around it, the little belt thing. Usually missing. Um, do we have the boots for it as well? I can't remember if they were included. I can't see any, to be honest. Aha, uh -huh. and there's, there's another piece to it, I presume. So, where is... Aha, uh -huh. so here is the Crash Crew top. And the bottoms must be in here somewhere. There they are. So we have Crash Crew bottoms as well. And I did remember seeing some of the uh, breathing apparatus here. Now we also have a torch. Unusually, that uh, should be normally painted inside there. So that's a bit unusual. Here's part of the uh, breathing apparatus. Uh, yeah, there's the mask. So obviously this bit's broken. This should obviously be a little peg here. And that fits in. It's probably why that's been all glued up. It's obviously been stuck, stuck at one point. Uh, what else do we have? Aha, uh -huh, this is one of the pieces that uh, I spotted. So here we have Action Man Commando face painting crayon, camouflage crayon. So As you can see, just about read that, Action Man. Uh, these normally, these are pretty rare, pretty hard to find. And uh, pretty hard to focus as well by the look of it. But yeah, so that's that's worth five or six quid, I think, if not more, on its own. So, what else do we have here that's of any value? I'll just look for, some, for the value, some of the uh, valuable pieces. Uh, one thing... Uh, Another thing that was in here was um yeah we have the uh, I forgot what if it's a well the actual name of you know specific name it is but it's like the machine gun the electronic machine gun that lights up at the end it's got a little red light at the end here belt fed machine gun so you press the button this is going to be attached wires into this and you pull this trigger here whoops. And all this, uh, you can see like all the workings inside here. Obviously not working because none of the wires are here, but uh, 
that could be fixed as long as it's all there it's all there so that's pretty cool i already have one of those but not in a, probably as good a condition as that so well, that doesn't work either and um, what else do we have we have some air uh, some uh bandoilers it is it depends on bandoilers or bandoliers i don't know i've forgotten myself i'm pretty sure i used to pronounce it properly but i've forgotten the pronunciation so we have uh, two of them as well so they're obviously for the commando probably go obviously goes with the crayon uh, we have the stand that goes with the machine gun that's broken though it doesn't matter, like I said, I've got another one of those, so I can make one good one out of the two. We have a compass. Um, does that go with that set or not? I don't think it does. I don't remember seeing it included. Maybe it doesn't, I don't know. What else do we have here? We have... Aha. There's one of them. Pretty sure there was two. Hang on. Look at this. We have another Lee Enfield in here, and this one has the barrel. Now that I did not spot, and that is worth around twenty pounds. So that's half the value of what I paid for the lot. That's awesome. Unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, because you know, I do actually need one of these. Because uh, every single one of these I have does have the barrel missing. Like that one there. So that's that's awesome, that is. Very happy with that. Ah, oh, there's the other one. So we have two Africa Core brown boots. So they're a fiver. If not more, I've got uh, quite a few uh, Africa Core uniforms and they might come in handy. I'm not sure how many sets of boots I have, so... Ah, we have some Tommy Gun bits here as well. I probably do remember seeing these, but... Well, I don't remember seeing them, but... probably did see them when I originally saw them. So there are two Tommy Gun mines. One of those needs gluing, but that's easy enough done. So there for Tommy Gun. If you don't know who Tommy Gunn is, uh, you can maybe check out some of my older videos. I've got some Tommy Gun ones on there. We have a map canister. Can we get the map out? Is it the correct map? Sometimes you pull these out and they're not even... Oh, shit. So, sorry. Excuse my French. I just tore that. I was already pretty badly torn, actually. It made much of a difference. Doing that off camera doesn't help, does it? That wasn't me that did that. I just gave it a little tear. Like I said, it was already badly torn. So, you can probably just put a bit of sellotape over there. It's not nothing too pretty. Well, I'll actually probably use a bit of paper, thin bit of paper, and just fix that. When we're doing it off camera, <laughs> I'm not with it today. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, so anything else worth getting out of this box? Whoops. Nothing really. We have a little cup there. I think that might go with the... With that set, not sure. I was hoping there's going to be a bit more. For this. Um, we have uh, one of the... Whoops. One of the hand cups here. They actually sell for about five on their own as well. We have a knife in a sheath. Doesn't want to focus as usual. Just wants to focus on the stuff down there and not what's in my hand. So I don't think there's much in here elsewhere. Ah, so, oh, there we are. There is something else that goes with the uh, Royal Marine set, which is obviously this camera.
Doesn't want to focus as usual. There we go. Hasbro, Hong Kong. I don't know what set that goes with uh, for the G.I. Joe line. But, uh, oh, hang on. We do have one of the boots for the uh, Mountie set. Is that the only one? Possibly. Ah, something else that goes with it. Is the Royal Marine uh, Life Vest. Uh, Maybe cool. The life fest, is that right? So I think dynamite. I think the dynamite goes goes with the Royal Marine set as well. So I don't know if there's any more of that in here. There's some other nice pieces. We've got a complete M sixteen there. Ah, oh, that goes with the Royal Marine set as well. Nice rifle there. And you obviously need an oar for the for the raft, which we have there. Now, anything else before we tie this up? Oh, we have another complete rifle. I forgot what this one's called. Is that the M1? Always nice to get complete uh, weapons, rifles, and whatnot. I mean, even though this one's got the barrel missing, but it has got the strap, and the straps are always useful. I mean, these are, I mean, I've, got, I've probably got a whole box of these. These guns that are broken. They're just uh, they're probably the most common thing you get in a, an action man job lot. All right, I think that's it. So we'll call that a day. Nothing else particularly exciting in here. No. Nope. So yeah, so we're very happy with this lot. As you can see, I've uh, definitely got my money's worth and a bit more. Like I said, probably double probably double what I paid for it especially when the inclusion of this uh, Lee Enfield which like I said you normally pay him £20 for that on its own it's a quite a rare gun to get hold of well it is with the tip with the barrel intact so yeah we have an action man that's uh, 20 quid on its own and we've got the raw marine set which is uh, mostly complete I did forget to point out that he does have his uh, snake bite kit on the side here as well so yeah there we have it so well hope you enjoyed this video hope it was of interest and if it was please like and subscribe and i'll see you again next time so goodbye for now guys goodbye